hey it's the empire don't forget to hit the like button the subscribe button and the bell icon for more videos be taking over let's go champ hit that like button hit that subscribe button right now let's go hey it's the empire geo boxing empire boxer boxing now <laughs> Anthony Joshua and Dillian White, man, team up on Lucas Brown, man. Would you believe it? The two biggest rivals in British boxing team up on Lucas Brown. Why I say that? Anthony Joshua recently came out, man, and he says that he actually wants Luke, he actually wants uh, Dillian White to beat Lucas Brown, man. You know, he's on team Body Snatcher, baby. You got the biggest name in boxing, Team Body Snatcher. You know? And this is really great, man. You know, uh, you know, the, having a rivalry and, and wanting your rival to do the best, it, it's good for your career, really, because one of Anthony Joshua's best wins is Dillian White. And since then, Dillian White has been pretty dominant in all his performances, man. I mean, let's be honest. Um, I mean, I guess that Chisora fight was sort of close, right? But besides that fight, um, he's been stepping up further and further in competition, and he's been looking better and better. You know, he hasn't stepped down at all. Um, most of the fights I watched that Dillian White has been in, besides the Trezor fight, he's been beating guys at, at least 8-4, to four, you know. He's been beating guys pretty bad, you know. If you win 75% of a fight, you know, that's that's pretty much a wipeout. You know, Dillian White has looked incredible in his performances. This is the biggest step up he has, and Anthony Joshua hopes he wins. This is a really big deal, right? Now, you got people from all over going for different people, right? Ricky Hatton, uh, apparently he was training Lucas uh, Lucas Brown, and I guess um, Dillian White says something like he goes there to train to have a sparring sometimes. He spars to people, or he does various uh, workouts at uh, Ricky Hatton's gym. So, you know, uh, you got Ricky Hatton 50-50 uh, on his fight, but he, he thinks that Lucas Brown may have the edge. You know, you got uh, you got people from all over having different uh, – perceptions of who's going to win his fight from the UK, you know, um, a lot of people were really giving uh, Lucas Brown a big chance to win his fight, right, but you have, you have the A side, you know, you got the truth, you got, you got the max out God, Anthony Joshua picking, picking Dillian White, baby, <laughs> you know, so this is a really big deal, man, who knows, man, maybe, uh, maybe uh, Anthony Joshua wants a big, uh, uh, make Dillian White even bigger and, like, walk him out or something like that, you know? I think it's cool, but, uh, you know, that they're rivals and everything. But, you know, I, I really want to see them, like, maybe maybe they can be cool too, man. I mean, I don't mind that, man. You know, a lot, a lot of times in boxing, you have these rivals. They, uh, and, you know, when they're fighting each other, they don't like each other. But, you know, by the time their career becomes a little later in their career, or maybe right after, they become friends somehow, and then it's all good and well. So, you know, um, I really want to see that, you know, Anthony and Joshua and Dillian White become friends, maybe, because they can build off each other's name. And that's better for boxing, to tell you the truth. Because, yeah, they're going to fight. Um, you know, I mean, if you, have, if you ever have a best friend, you can play around and joke around and, you know, really fight 100%, you know, if you have that kind of relationship. Because you guys can have, you can talk to each other like trash, trash talk to each other because you guys are comfortable with each other, right? Sometimes when, you, when you're closer to someone, you can actually, you can actually talk more trash. Because you're used to being around them, right? And if you just have some random guy you really hate, you know, sometimes it, it makes it harder to pit in words how much you hate that guy, you know? But if you're cool with the guy, you get to you get to know him a little bit. You you know all this guy's weaknesses, man, you know? So who knows, man? Maybe maybe even Lucas Brown, I mean, Lucas Brown, maybe even Dillian White and Angie, anything Joshua be cool and then have like a falling out. I don't know. I think that would be even better, you know? Maybe they, they become cool for like a year and then... I don't know. They they have a falling out over some chick. Who knows, man? Who knows? But all I know is Anthony Joshua is rooting for a Dillian White, man. I thought that was really cool. I would never expect him to to root for his rival, and but he does, man. Um, this is gonna be a really big fight. I'm not sure who's gonna win this fight. I mean, I might make a prediction. Uh, you know, don't don't count it, but I I think I might make a prediction for if they fight today. I'm really excited to see this fight. But let me know how you guys feel about it, man. You guys think Anthony Joshua? Uh, Wanting and Dillian White to win is a big deal. I think it's sort of a big deal, man. I'm really excited to hear that. And um, we're, we're going to see how this fight plays out, man. Uh, this is Dillian White's biggest step up. This is Lucas Brown's biggest step up. This is the big boy stage. This is the O2 arena. <laughs> you know, this is where, where legends are built. So let me know how you guys feel about it, man. Like, comment, subscribe. This is the Empire. 
Geobicycle Empire. Peace.